Hey, you all know what this thing is. And um, as my previous video stated, we're going into this because we can. Because uh, Modern Horizons 2 draft boxes are still one of the best deals on potential pulls versus box price in Magic the Gathering. And with the sheer number of decks I have built, there are cards I actually need more copies of. So, we are going into this and hopefully finding those. And the list is big enough of cards that I need that I can, plus having a channel, which I kind of do such things, um, I can actually open a box and I should be able to get quite a few things that work for me. So, we're going to start off with Grist the Hunger Tide. Still easily the best... Uh, Planeswalker of this particular product in Arcus Acolyte in foil. Actually good, and the other two are terrible. <laughs> I really did, like, I, I wanted to try to defend Deck and Black Blade, but it, it's really slow, isn't it? It's like, it's, it's kind of exceedingly slow. Well, there's an arrow Amoeba, folks, and we gotta chuck that. Because they gotta fly, in case you don't know. Unmarked Grave. Okay. Of course, this is the last run of draft print. I don't know, it was like print three or four. Um, packs don't love opening. Inevitable Betrayal. And they also do have a little bit of a different feel to them. In case you are not aware, in case you ever get a Modern Horizons 2 card by mail, and it is not Japanese printed, and you're like, why does this feel slightly different? Yep, it is the last run. General Ferris Rockerick. It is then the last run of Modern Horizons 2. They do not feel exactly the same. The draft, anyway. <clears throat> Keep that in mind if you're ordering a card from TCG Player. You're like, this is fake! No, it's probably not fake. And it went in doubt due to Green Dot Test. Sword of Hearth and Hollow. Alright, there's another solid mythic. I'll admit those are not the two mythics I'm after, but... Those are a couple, you know, in the whole grand scheme of mythics in this product, they're, they're decent mythics. Counter spell, resurgent belief, and a foil, General Ferris Rockerick, in the sketch. So, foil rares and mythics can have a multiplier in this product because the regular pack versions. We're not in collector boxes in foil, which was kind of awesome. Larry Nevin's disc and Lannis. So because of it, those are actually kind of hard to get. But the sketch ones, on the other hand, like that particular one, are kind of a dime a dozen. Now, the foil multiplier does not qualify for everything, even General Ferris Rockerick and its regular artwork in foil is still bulk. Hey, all right, our first fetch land. We got Verdant flipping catacombs, and, and well, there there goes my opportunities in foil. Well, I guess there could be a mythic. We got Chitter Spitter in foil, which is, that's actually, that's actually kind of neat. Oh, man, it's Chitter Spitter. Chitter's full. <clears throat> but we got our first fetch land in Verdant catacombs. So this came from the same case as the last one I did. So that's, that's fascinating that my first fetch land, once again, was a Verdant catacombs. Oh, no. Oh, the mythics are different. Oh, we could do better. Yeah, you know, it's just, it's it's one mythic. It doesn't it doesn't mean anything. Fire and Ice, Dermotaxi. Okay. What I'm really after, though, are some of those spicy rares, to be honest. More so than the mythics. Because you're going to get some mythics. You're going to get five to seven mythics. But I'm really after some of those spicy rares. That's what I want. Ave and a foil dark moss bridge. Squirrel mob. Obsidian charm. Alright, we're done with the first row. We have a lot of work to do here. But thankfully, we have 24 packs to do it in. K 
Cursed Totem and another Ferris Rockerick. Okay. You know, at, at the price point that you can get a draft box at right now, it's not even worth going with a set box in the end. And I really liked the Monorizes 2 set boxes, but that price difference just isn't worth it. Liquid Metal Torque, Goblin Bombardment, and Calibrated Blast. Of course, Goblin Bombardment being an actually good card, but it's been printed enough, so, you know. Out of time. You out of time. Okay, open up. Thank you. Come on, something good. Something good. Well, you know, you know, another arrow. All right. And Master of Death. <laughs> we're, we're bulking it out over here. <laughs> uh, we have a lot of packs to go. It, Modern Horizons 2 has a tendency to do this. So, yeah, Violet and Tumor. And Bone, Diamond Lion. All right. I think we're halfway through the box now for this pack. Yeah. Not every box can be a home run. Or even a single. Damn! Yeah, it's kind of what I'm saying right now. All right, come on. Let's find ourselves one of the big rares. Or another or another fetch land, which I'm not even including in the big rares. Clyde Scorch, Magus of the Bridge. You do not qualify as that. Okay. Yeah, that's a pretty big bulk pile already. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> that's that's not a you know what we're doing folks here just we're, we're just getting it out of the way right i mean you're gonna find a bunch of that this set was opened insanely not just by me suspend in moderation Ugh. all right Yeah, again, we're just getting the bulk out of the way, folks. That's what's happening. Yeah. Yeah. Braids. Egg, Noble Hierarch. At least that's a little something. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Screw yoke. Hey, Marsh Blitz. All right. Fetch land number two. Jeez, probably an Erd Mesa next. I may, I, may my, I may find myself having to actually buy some Misty Rainforest. Usury. Goblin Shaman in foil. All right, we're down to the last 12 packs. Wow, that was a rough row. Like, the first row wasn't great. The second row was rough. Fractured Sanity. Titania. All right. Ah, Sanctum Weaver. It's better than the Mythic that was in the back. I mean, not that Titania is a bad card, but you know what I mean. It's definitely on the, the bottom end. Of, plus, that's the reprint Mythic, and usually you get one reprint, reprint Mythic per box. So that does mean we're not going to get one of the better reprint Mythics. Tiles Provisioner. Search the premises. I forgot that that was a rare. Okay. All right. Okay. Look. Look. Look here, box. All right. I'm going to try to give you the benefit of the doubt here. All right. And it, 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 well, I've got guys. Okay. Vindicate. Calder completes. Okay. Combine Chrysalis Foil. Of course, Calder Complete already got a reprint. That happened pretty quickly, actually. Void Mirror. Ooh. Oh, boy. I, I'm Okay. I was keeping it positive. I was keeping it positive. What the hell are you doing? What is this? I've never seen this before. This is new. 
Well, and for, for people out there who think they've opened a bad box and they're saying they got things like a solitude out of that box and yet it was still a bad box. No, no, no. This is what a bad box looks like, folks. Necrogoyth. Well, we got a foil mythic. We got a Savellan of Sea and Sky in the borderless, sorry, in the old bordered foil, which is actually really cool. It is not a hit because this thing got reprinted like crazy. Um, but that is still a really cool treatment. And actually, do I even, I don't even think I have Savellan in my Merfolk deck anymore. That's a good question right now. I'm going to ask myself that because otherwise I'm going to slide that copy in there. But I actually think I took it out of there because the I, I, last thing I need is more draw. That's the last thing that deck needs. <laughs> it doesn't. Well, we got another sacrifice, another. Hero Miva. Patriarch's bidding in the slow talisman. Whew. Five packs left. You know what's sad about this set, though? Five packs left, we can still end up with a decent box. Not when you pull freaking Thrasta. Well, that's going to be it for the Mythics. <laughs> this is so bad. <laughs> this is so bad. Rise and shine. Oh, come on. <laughs> this is so bad. Okay, Scalding Tarn. All right. Two packs. Um, you know what? If you give me an Urza Saga and a Ristic Buddy in the end here, I at least will forgive you, Box. That's a glimpse from tomorrow. That is not one of those two cards I had just talked about. All right. Last pack. Okay, here we go. Sweep the skies. Enchantress's presence in the reprint. Oh, it's a reprint slot. And Sylvan Flippin' Anthem. Wow! Wow, wow, wow! Wow! So that was the worst Modern Horizons 2 box. I have ever opened. I think that's the worst one I've ever seen. That's impressive, actually, considering how much of this I've opened. Wow. So I hope everybody that is watching takes this video and maybe, perhaps, if you ever see people talking about their bad MH2 box, this is the comparison to what a bad MH2 box looks like. Yeah. Well, I'm going to go ahead and end it. I'm going to uh, go be sad. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.